welcome everybody to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. I'm Keith. And the rest of you are very lucky because we've got a very excellent episode to really bump. We're back here in the studio up against our little camel wall. Wall wall. It's a pretty wall though. You it's know, I guess it could be worse walls. It could be a blank white wall, but we're, we were supposed to be out on the boat today. Yes. But it is seriously sad, gloomy, gray day out there. Little wet, little rainy, and cat uh, or Chrysler Keith. You know, yes. he's not purring today. He's the just weather like, is not the only issue, is it, Keith? No, Chrysler Keith's running out about three ah, cylinders today. I gosh. just can't seem. I put a good day together, and the next day, it is it's just not together. It's just not together. Oh, okay, now you say you you just said you're running on three. Is that out of four? Like what kind no, of a car is that? I would say out of. Like are you are you a V12? No, you know, we're, three? A, we're a we're a, we're a V8. <laughs> Okay. We're, running on a, we're running on three You're cylinders. You're the running on three yeah. cylinders. You know, I, did I, pretty, see. I did pretty good on Monday, but yesterday I went to the dentist and it was a really rough day, and so I worked from home. and Wait, Because of the dentist? Yeah, I had to have a crown and some uh, drilling and all that kind of stuff. Oh, myself. yeah, no, you're right. I would have yes. been so drugged up. I take a lot of little Valium, <laughs> up, up on the Valium before I go to the dentist. Oh, uh, So, yeah, so it was, it, was, it was a bummer. We couldn't get out today, but... Uh, Hopefully, weather permitting, Chrysler keeps running on at least <sighs> yeah. four cylinders. <laughs> Chrysler permitting. Yeah, Chrysler permitting. Oh, we will be, uh, we'll go out and play on the boat and do some experimental stuff. We had some stuff planned for today. We really did. It was going to be a top-notch episode. We were going to bring like actual inf information, informative advice to yes, people. We were this week and we're not able to do that for you so instead we're sitting in front of the bland wall Keith can barely move and I was not able to uh, convince him to uh, head out no nope, not today so it is <laughs> it would have been really bad yes but uh, <laughs> next week though tune in next week we are gonna we're gonna be out weather permitting it is supposed to rain next week but I don't believe those weather guys no. at all when's it gonna stop it probably isn't. You know, it's, well, it's April in Utah. I know. April showers bring May flowers, but I don't <laughs> care. No, we got 22 inches of snow last Friday night. That, no, we really did. That was a lovely piece of poetry. You, you give us the poetry. I like it. Right here with Keith. What else you have? I, I don't know. I have something else with shoe right. <laughs> I just surprised you. No, I, like, that's, I'm very surprised. That was moving. That was very like, moving, Keith. I really like it. And everybody out there, appreciate it. Everybody, please post your... <laughs> Your commitment you know, of love for his poetry. My poetry, yes. Yeah, I'm very nice. Poet. No, here in April, though, it really does seem to rain at least... Every other day. Every <laughs> other day for the entire month of April <clears throat> here, which is the only time we get rain, because we won't yes. get rain until, you know, next November. Right, exactly. And that'll be maybe a little snow then, too. Maybe a little snow. Sure, got all of our snow the last part of... Well, it wasn't even last year. It was all this year. Oh, well, yeah, it really is. It was a two night, 2019 kind of snow. Yeah, not a 2018. Yes. Okay, in the meantime, though, I'm going to do a little shout-out while Some shout-outs? Because some we've ours. got so much going on today. We do? I don't. We don't have much going on today. So I'm going to do shout-outs right now. Um, wait a minute. i got Mark McEwen on. He says, hi, Trav. Rude. I think because Travis is going to be on here, and he's probably such Travis, to Travis are you on already. Today? Yeah, that's rude. Travis probably is on. Travis is generally on. Yes. Travis also has so much to do. Just kidding. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Travis is pretty busy, um, but he always takes time to help us out and answer the questions that are most important. Yes, Travis is on. Hello, Travis. Jody is also on. Hey, Jody. You know, Jody used to help us out occasionally, yes. and. Jody, I'm not sure what you did to her. Maybe she's worried about catching the Chrysler disease. I'm not sure, but she won't ever come and uh, film for us. Anymore. I hope you can't catch what I have because oh, yeah. if you maybe can, if you were to like oh. dig up some Indian burial grounds, yeah. maybe you can catch what you have. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I don't think I would even do that. Offend your ancestors? My ancestors. I don't know. <laughs> Probably did. Oh my gosh! I've had enough revenge. Leave me alone and let me get. Back to normal, please. Please. Uh, so we can get back to our normally scheduled programs. Yes, Thank you very out much. on the water, running around, having fun. Yes, but Mark is on. Hey, Mark, and even though you're more excited to see Travis, we are glad you're with us. Frank Williams is on. He says, what's up, y'all? Hey, Frank, it's good to see you. Uh, Keith Snow. 
Are you related to him? No, I don't I'm think just, so. I'm just kidding. But you know what? Keith, there aren't a lot a of people but. named Keith out there in the world. Are there? Or few and far between. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Um, there are also a few Jeffs that watch our show, like Jeff Mullenix is on right. Jeff Fuchs as well. Really? Yes. You have two and I have one. It's so far that I know of. We might have to, you know, oh, I love a good competition. But Keith Snow says, what's up, guys? Uh, Casey Brady is on. Hey, gentlemen, happy rainy day here. Hope you're staying dry. Yeah, um, we're trying our best. I have a story, though. Uh-oh. Let's we, uh, Just today, because of the rainy day, I, uh, I used a little bit of my lunch time to take care of a situation. A situation? A car situation. Oh. Not a Chrysler situation, luckily. <laughs> yes. uh, no, but it, because it's raining, I decided that I would finally get my car registered. Care to guess when my car was supposed to be registered? Probably a month or two ago. October. Of last year. Of last year. And we've been riding around <laughs> in your car. Ambry, what are you thinking, girl? <laughs> oh. I... I know. Mine, it was, mine was due in February, and I, I have it done already. Yes, it was October. So here's my theory. So I've had a lot of theory because I've kind of been... Avoiding the... You police. know, just, well, because at first I was going to sell it. Like, there were there were some situations, right, yes, right, right, that were coming up. That's why I didn't do it back in October. And, <laughs> you know, it just slips your mind. It's one of those things that you think about at night in bed. You're like, oh, i got to take that in tomorrow and do it. And then all of a sudden, it's 2019. Um, so today... We were coming back for lunch, and I saw the spot, and they had a little sign up. And they're like, oh, you know, discounted price, whatever. I was like, I'm going to flip in there and do it, um, and then walk back. Because it's right here right in our the street, right? <laughs> so, of course, yes. Um, well, the, the, it's on the corner. It's on the corner. Uh, over there. But the one rainy day, the one rainy I decided day. to walk. But, yeah, October. Right. But here's my theory. This is practical advice, possibly. Not that I'm condoning any kind of illegal driving. <laughs> But I drive a little black Ford Focus, and it is the most invisible car on the road. If you don't want to be noticed, <laughs> black Focus? Ford Focus. Focus. They'll never look at it. You're just completely invisible on the road. Good to know. So there it is. You are all very welcome for all of you illegal drivers, drivers. out there. Just make <laughs> so sure you have the right car. pass? Oh, it absolutely passed. Oh, good. Everything That's always nice. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's a newer car. It's just I just never took it in. Well, I'm proud of you for doing so that. So I finally got it done. I'm a, I'm a, I was adulting really hard. See, today. now you don't have to pay for it until next year. I'm going to take responsibility for that because I was like, just go do it, Jeff. Just take it in. This is why we also keep Amber around as our producer. She's like, Jeffrey, you need to do that. She helps us keep us on track. That's what it is. Instead of weaving through traffic in and out trying to avoid <laughs> yes, the hobo. Yes, seriously. So <laughs> every time you see one, it goes, oh. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm totally <laughs> legal now. Which is good now that the summer is here. Yes. But, uh, so that's good. Um, Randy Webb has something special for you that he just said. What do you say? What's up, Randy? What do you say? <laughs> Randy says, hey, what's up, Skybusters? Oh, oh really? So mean. Skybusters. That's only cute. Hey, did you guys check out that new uh, product that Tangle Free has that they were promoting on uh Oh, April. yeah. Oh, Ooh, yes. Hey. Did you buy some of no, that? No, oh, no, that, uh, that little urine spray. Yes, I, I stayed away from that one. <laughs> I kind of was like, yeah. Because I think if, they, if the birds are that close and they can smell the urine, which I don't know if they can smell anyways, they're already dead. That is that is true. That I is absolutely that. true. I, I mean, I thought it was kind of comical, but you know, it, I, I it thought was it was like, comical. Although, can ducks smell? I don't know. I want to hear from all of you out there. Can Randy. ducks smell? Randy, Randy can <laughs> duck right. smell? I know they stink, yeah, yeah. but can they smell? Um, you know, speaking of <laughs> this kind of thing, did you did you see, did you catch yesterday's episode of Catch and Release with our good friends yes, Jim Paul and I Jeremy? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, I'm sure glad <laughs> that you didn't come up with something like that. Listen, that's not to say that I didn't necessarily come up with something like that. I'm just saying that I... Maybe was not brave enough <laughs> to post that to the whole world. But for those of you who follow Jay Paul and Jeremy on their show, he put out on April Fools, on the first, um, that he was going to give away a brand, a, a new, or I guess not new, but his Bay Two Hundred Three and his GMC Denali. And I've been in his Denali. I've never I been have in his also, GMC. I have been in his and, truck. Uh, and he said he was going to give it away and tagged us and everything. He was like, this is full on. And people went nuts. Yes, they I did. mean, they were calling him and posting. I mean, there were like hundreds and hundreds of posts on there. 
Um, and he, he his whole thing was that he was going to give it away on the 31st of April, which there is no... No, 31st. 31st of April. Totally got me. I know. So you got hook, line, and sinker? I got on his Instagram, and I was like, what is he talking about? Yeah. We don't have a giveaway going We're on right giving, now. Give away. We're not giving away this <laughs> truck. <laughs> Um, I was all confused. But it was a convincing story. It really no, was. It, I it mean. really was. But here's here's my fear for j Paul and all of them out there. Because I, I'm you know, staying out of that. <laughs> Nothing that to do with that one, guys. they get to do. But by the end of that, because, you know, about ten minutes in, they gave it away that, you know, this was all a April Fool's joke. Mm-hmm. But after that, the show got really interesting. And a lot of people started to log on that didn't hear that little part. So... <laughs> Pretty sure there are a fair number of people out there still thinking Jay Paul's going to give his truck, his, and, his truck and his boat away. So good luck with that. Have fun with that, buddy. <laughs> Woo! But it was pretty funny. I did. It was. It, 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 was, was, it was. I funny. think it was there. Really I think there was a lot of people like Ambry said she got you know hooked yes. the sinker took the whole thing. And I'm thinking to myself, man, that sounds way <laughs> too good to be true. But you never know. You know. Oh man. Just crazy, uh, crazy. It really was. All right, uh, Brent Durstein is on. What's going on? Um, uh, from Zach Cox, hope everything is going good up up there. I mean, it's going good for me. Not quite so great for you, but, I mean, you know. We're doing okay. I mean, just... You're hanging in. Chugging along real slow. <laughs> chugging. Real slow. Chugging along. Um, ben Hopman's watching from Iowa. What's hey, up, Iowa. Ben? I talked to our good friends at m M&M and Marine, Jeff, today. They're walking around in uh, muck boots because they've got about two feet oh, of yeah. water from the river overflowing into their shop. So, <laughs> man, that's just tough up there. With that those guys. Is, that is the, really uh, all the really water and the banks just to, the water running over and yes, you know, just causing a lot of people some serious damage. Yeah, no, it's, it's been tough. It's been rough all over. I've, I mean, there's there's some. In fact, I'm gonna tell you about this little story. I've got a prop kind of hidden oh. off to the side here that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. But uh, Randy Webb also wrote back. He said, thanks for the awesome hat, but I did bend the bill. What? Randy, you bend the bill? Was that the trucker hat? Did you bend the bill of the trucker Randy, hat? Randy, man, that's like sacrilegious. You cannot you bend. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, that just makes me sad. Um, let's see. Uh, Jeff Mullenix, who I say in the, from the Jeff Club, uh, and he says, howdy, gentlemen. Raining in Nebraska today as well. I know, man. It's just Crappy dreary. Rain. It's one of those days that you really just want to be home, like reading a book. For those of you who can read, I mean. Yeah. Keep I going. just went to lunch and had a nice comfort breakfast, some biscuits and gravy really? and a couple of eggs and some sausages. Nice and heartwarming. It's like, okay. now, then I just needed to go home, but I had to come back to work. I Which brings me to my next point. I'm going to do a little embarrassing of you oh, right you here. You can't right embarrass now. me right now. I can't embarrass you right now. Okay, so. I have embarrass myself so much. <laughs> I just have to show This might be too much. Maybe I shouldn't. But um, we're getting ready to uh, start the show. Oh, and yes. All of you know that we start at 3 o'clock our time. We and late. 3 o'clock rolls around and we can't find Keith. In fact, I just got a lot of exercise running around the whole building looking for Keith. <laughs> I was supposed to be here early. You were supposed to be here early, yeah, like half hour early. And it didn't happen. Um, so uh, I get a text. I'm sitting here waiting to start, sitting right here, and a text comes in that says, <laughs> stuck in the bathroom, poop emoji, poop emoji, poop emoji. Man, you know, <laughs> they've got me on so many, many different medications. Oh, I don't I know whether like... to stand, to sit. To cry, <laughs> but oh it's, just, it's never ending. And never one ending. day, they're going to figure out how to get all eight <laughs> cylinders clicking. But right now, three and... I'm not I'm not sure why, but the number of poop emojis you added to it just I, made I was it very just, real for me. It oh, was very, it was like graphic and visceral <laughs> and very... I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> you knew this. I mean, it's just not like, ha-ha, poop emoji. It was like... Yeah, I was, I was letting you know she was serious, man. I was like, I didn't know if I was even gonna make it. I st- if I disappear really oh, fast. Oh my man, god! I tell you what, they, I change medications lot. every couple days, and it's it's kind of hard on your system. <laughs> no, it really is. I, I and I have a weak system anyway. Oh, and it's, man, well, I as much fun as I make, I do I do worry about you, and all of your poop emojis. I worry about I worry about me too. Like oh. Uh, Bruce Haddock, hey guys, raining in Northwest Oklahoma. Sorry, man. Sorry. Hey, Bruce, rain. we're gonna let you try one of our new flat brims. Yeah. But Bruce, 
Bruce. Bruce. You cannot roll it. The, it's a flat brim. It, this is a flat brim hat. If you are against flat brim hats, then give it know, to somebody who will wear a flat brim. Give it hat. to a cooler person. Yes. Who will wear it? Because these are cool. <laughs> no rolling uh, the cap it, like some speak, of our other friends. Speaking of flat flat brim, Jay Paul just jumped on. Our good friend Jay Paul, he natural wear release. A flat one. No, there's been a lot of controversy. You know, I got him to wear right. it one time, and yesterday on the show, everybody was like, "Hey, where's your hat? Where's your hat?" <laughs> uh, but he won't wear it. So he's, uh, you know, I mean, it's Team Flat Brim or Team Not, and he's the world will end. He's Team Not for sure. Uh, all right. Oh, let's see. I think we actually have a real question. Okay, Ethan. Nimmer, here's a good question for today. What prop size works best for the mud motor depending on the horsepower? I'm going to put you off just a second, Ethan. I'm going to make you continue to watch because this is our topic for today, actually, our, our props. We're going to talk about this. So I'm just going to do a few more shout outs and then we're going to jump on this topic and get to it. Uh, but Quentin Helms is on. Um, <laughs> what's going on? Where's the ducks at? Oh, uh, man. We couldn't find them all year long. I don't no, know where we're going to find no, them now. No ducks. Um, you're a good friend with the local law, <laughs> Bruce. I am not friends with the local law. He says, "Hope you're good friends with the local law." <laughs> oh, yes. Well, you know. He is now. He's, he's okay. Legal. Okay, Jay Paul. So we're just behind. They're all commenting now. We're I'm to the part where we're talking about the cars and all of this. And Jay Paul says only a Prius is less noticeable than the Ford Focus. Hey, Jay Paul, the Prius gave up the ghost. At 253,000 miles, I sent her to the boneyard. I sent her to the boneyard. You Which know? you really even didn't need to. It really was, if anybody were really well, willing to. I sold, that the, I sold it to a guy who was going to do some resurrecting on it, but I was not willing to put in all of the new main battery and all yeah. the components. That thing served its life. She did it sure me did. really well at 100 miles a day. I want to see Jay Paul. Yeah. Jay Paul, how do you afford to drive that big old Denali and put fuel in that thing? You need a company Prius car. We should. I think yeah. everybody should get a company Prius. I think I want to talk to Glenn about that. <laughs> Cut down the fuel mileage and intake and consumption. Let's, I want to see you pull your boat with that Prius. <laughs> Prius and a 203, Jay yeah. Pro. That's what we need right there. I think the 203 would be pulling the Prius. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, he's also making fun of our plant manager down in Arkansas. Because DJ has a Prius. Those guys of us no. have to commute yes. like a lot, a lot of mileage. And I drive 97 miles round trip every day. So that little Prius did me good. It really did. It and did. when I was commuting elsewhere, that Ford was very, very practical. Very practical. Very practical car. And as bad as I talk about my little Ford, it... And now that you only live two fine. miles to the shop, you want to get something nice. I want to get... I need something a little bigger. I, no, I was hoping to win Jay Paul's Denali. Oh, yeah. That's what I was really looking for. You probably would have got deemed on that one because it's <laughs> company employee. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, Luke Powell, they will be watching for you next year. I know. I shouldn't have admitted. Yes. They're going to yeah. they're gonna be on me. I know. I know. Uh, you know, um, oh, man, Charlie McRae. Just a, a nice big post here. He says, no crying about the rain there, boys. We're dealing with chemical plants blowing up and releasing benzene into the Houston skies. We've had uh, the chemical plant fires in three, two chemical fire plants in three weeks. So if you all see a gas price increase, yeah, it's because of Houston, Texas. Sad thing is there has been one fatality. Man, Man. man brutal out there. Did you see? I saw that on the news, I actually. I, I like don't the watch smoke the news. plumes coming out of that stuff. I'm there. dealing with enough stuff with my own body Jeez. going on. I don't. I'm not. I'm not watching really what's going on with the with the rest of the world. Bob Dreyer's back on. Hey, Bob, Bob, I have not seen you forever. Bob, it is really, really good to see you. Good to have you back with us, buddy. Jeff Fuchs is on. Jeff, part of the Jeff Club. Jeff, another Jeff. Yes. Remember, guys, like and share. Get this out to your friends. Without you and your friends, there's no Keith and Jeffrey and Ambry. Okay. Um, back to our duck question. Duck question. I, I promise everybody, we're going to get to these props. There's just been a lot of stuff coming in, so I'm going to get to that as soon as I can, I promise. Uh, but Travis, our good buddy Travis, has rained, uh, or not rained in. Yeah, rained in. Checked in. Chimed in. Chimed, Chimed in. That's Chimed what I'm looking for. Chimed in on our duck. Can duck smell? He says, ducks 
can detect smells to an extent, but not like a dog or similar animal. Oh, gotcha. So, so they can detect smells, but they're not like big sniffers like, like a dog. Okay. Travis, if they ever came out with like a, with a, a urine smell thing to put on your decoys and your, your body and stuff, would something like that actually work? I mean, is that, is there any, good. is there any science to back up any kind of, I'm not going to try. Should we be should we be producing this product? No, no. You don't know. Don't just say no. Like you didn't even consider. I know they it. make it. I know they it's make crap. it for elk hunting and deer right. hunting and yes. all that kind no, of stuff. No, that is but true. Water fouling? Yeah, I don't enough. know. Okay, Matt. Matt Cow's got question two. Everybody's got some real questions, and we are going to get to these. I'm just trying to get through the shout outs as fast as we can. Um, Jay Paul seemed like a good idea at the time. It was a good idea, Jay Paul. Everybody <laughs> loved to be, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be awesome later. Um, slam up at Luke Powell, slam dunk by Jay Paul. Yeah, if it's on Facebook. It has to be true. It, it is right. I mean, that's, that's what, what they saying. say. It's In two months, somebody's gonna be like, Jay Paul, when are you gonna announce the winner? <laughs> um, okay, April 31st. Still waiting for April 31st to come around. Okay, all right, let's. Oh, Michelle, we got Michelle Webb on. Hey, Michelle, how are you? <laughs> Michelle Webb, men and their bathroom duties. Ugh. Michelle, did your second shirt come? Michelle, did your second shirt come? That's a question from Ambry, if you couldn't hear that. Um, okay, there are more questions. There are lots of questions. I, well, oh, Matt Cow, Cow he's, he can do both with the hats, bent or non-bent. Oh, That's good, a, Matt. We you know, I am that way, too. I, uh, yes. yeah, I don't I don't mind a rolled hat. I'm not exclusive no. one way or another. But if, if my brim's flat, I stay flat. If it's rolled, I roll, roll. Yes. But I don't take my flat brim and roll it. <laughs> That's just... No. Sorry. Um, Matt wants to know if you actually did buy the, the goose piss from... No, Jane no, Green. I didn't. I thought it was kind of comical. But I did not buy no urine from Tango Free. I love their products and I support Tango Free a ton, but I did not buy any of that. You didn't buy it. You didn't get suckered in. Nope. Not really. Okay, now listen. I just got a picture. I have to interrupt everything that we're doing because this is relevant. Relevant? Um, this is a picture from Logan Thomas, um, who you've all seen. He takes us out. He's one of our guides and our, uh, an engineer here. He's really amazing and um, a really great. Uh, a great hunter and, and fisher and he just sent me he just sent me this picture I'm gonna see if I can blow it up and show you all here we go you gotta look at this Amber you gotta tell me if I'm actually pointing in the right the area right that it's a Prius with a bunch of ducks a bunch of dead ducks on the back of it eh? see I told you it's totally relevant totally relevant so there it is thank you Thomas or I mean Logan sorry that's his last name Logan Thomas Logan, Logan, Thomas. Logan. Um, fantastic okay Keith Let's get into some actual business some here. Business Quit here. messing around okay. and let's get to it. Let's talk props for just a minute. So I do want to show everybody. So here's the big question. This is one of the questions we get most of all here. What, what's the best prop? Right. right. And what do we always say? We like the big blade. We do like the big blade. You and I prefer the big blade. It's what we run. It's what we're currently running. Right. Which, so we're a little biased on this. Yes, just, right now, yes. Just a smidge. But we also always say it depends on your load, right? How heavy your boat is, how strong your engine is, and your motor, and all of that. But this, this is the Raptor 2 three blade prop. This is our newest prop that we have. We have actually yet to run it on our boat with our motor, which is what we were supposed to do today. Right. But you, our... you couldn't do it. You nope. couldn't make it work. No. Nope. Which is lucky because you would have been sending me poop emojis from the From bushes. somewhere I don't know where. It would have been horrible. <laughs> it would have been bad. Gross. Um, <clears throat> but this prop, this actual one that I'm holding in my hand, is a return from somebody, actually. It doesn't really look too bad. No, it really doesn't look too bad. But let me tell you what happened oh, so... to this Prop. There's a story behind that three blade. There is a story behind this blade. Now, if the person that I'm going to talk about is watching because I don't have all of the facts of this story straight. This is coming to me secondhand. I'm, I'm in the middle of kind of building this story because we're going to put this online because I love this story. But this boat, um, and it might even be Jeff Mullenix. It may be. I'm not sure. Jeff, if you watch, correct me. I, I don't remember if this is yours or not. But this prop was going along. 
nice and easy, doing some good works, helping out some people in some shallow water during some flood times, and happened to come across and meet in a very personal and real way a propane tank. And it punctured that propane tank and propelled this gentleman and his boat forward and over, threw him right out of the boat. And this is how damaged this prop is. I mean, Almost I, none at all. I was gonna say. I mean, some... look at this bad boy. I mean, it's got just a little bit of wear here and there, but really, I you would, almost I, couldn't I, tell. No, I would have thought that uh, it's got a little bit of wear on it, but I wouldn't have thought that. No, you get a that propane it tank hit tank. a propane tank that exploded. So this, um, I mean, like that's like the number one. That's like the best of the best. It really I mean, is. I mean, guys who hit rocks and trees and. But how many guys have hit a propane, hit a propane tank? tank? And not just like clink, but yeah. like kaboom. And live so, to tell about it. And live to tell about it. So if anybody is watching that that actually happened to, or if you have a similar story, please let me know. Because I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do some fun stuff uh, with this. Oh, I turned up the volume on this. Uh -oh. um, but if you're watching, if, if this was the one that this happened to. Um, let me know because I love this story. Uh, but we did replace this for them. That's pretty nice of us. Absolutely, because really? they were out doing they were doing good work, helping people, rescuing people. And I know we've had a lot of you out there um, in these flooded areas that are rescuing people, and we appreciate that so much. But we do love to hear all of your crazy prop stories. So uh, I'm feeling like it is time for us to maybe give this Raptor to Three Blade. That's always confusing to say because the right. Raptor Two is the name of it. And it's a three, three blade. blade, so it's a Raptor two three blade. Correct. <laughs> That's but I'm thinking, but I am excited to really try it out because it is it's brand new. It's um, made by Mercury. Yes. Um, and it's supposed to be a really really brilliant prop. See how it runs on the salty. I want to see we how it runs. We haven't on the salty. had a chance to get it out there. Nope. So hopefully, weather permitting, and the old Chrysler's up and running, we're gonna give her a shot. And see what she does. Do some. Uh, some yes. Open water, some mud testing, some speed testing between the two. It'll be fun. Absolutely. Weather permitting. It'll probably be like 20 degrees and rainy or something like that, you know. Just never know what you're going to get here right. weather-wise. So let's talk about our three prop site. We have, we have three props that we use here at Mud Buddy. We've got the hammer, the big blade, and mm -hmm. now the new Raptor. Tell us which boats... Like, what, which ones we... Just give us a, a quick overview of these three props and what we're using them for. The two-blade is a good prop for heavy loads, a lot of gear. Uh -huh. uh, doesn't really what kind of motor you run. Right. Okay. Hammer is basically the big brother to the big blade. Um, so it's going to need more horsepower to turn up, but it's going to be a great mud prop and pushing loads. Yes. The three-blade are good open water props lighter a little bit lighter loads but also too with the three blade we can adjust the gearing a little bit and get the rpm rpms up on it right so there's a lot of things we can do i'm really excited to see what we can do with this problem yes see what she'll too. do on the old salty with all of your camera gear and all of that uh paraphernalia that you seem to take <laughs> along with us Amber and i travel pretty light when we go out on the boat but jeffrey's got bags of stuff it's like good grief but that's okay i care I, yeah i you know i have my own gear you have to have got, your got my i got my stuff trying to make it all work out um bill Nagy says how many horsepower does a mud buddy 4200 have about 40 horsepower yeah right in there right give in or there. take yeah. yes good okay i'm going back to uh just finding more of these these questions that i kind of skipped over uh, hey guys, 35 Mud Buddy carb, cam heads, and exhaust. Big blade or hammer? How big is uh, your boat? How heavy is your boat? Yeah, it, Matt, this is from Matt Cowell. Matt? Um, I feel like I should even know this. I think I, I swear uh, right. I know what Matt was running, but it's a 35, it's a 35 okay. carb, and I think he's got a 17, and I thought, but correct me if I'm wrong. I would, Matt, I would, I'm comfortable I saying the big blade for sure. Maybe the hammer? But you've got to you've got to be running pretty close to 50, 50 horsepower to spin that big hammer because that's hammer. a big yeah that's a big prop. It's a big prop. If you've got a buddy around who's got one, before you buy one, borrow it for a minute. Just take it out in some deep water, and see what it does. 
Okay, uh, from Rich, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this last name. From Rich Us, Utsler, Utsler, I think. Sorry, Rich. Um, will a two-blade prop handle heavy loads better than the three-blade on my XL 1860 with a 44, 4400? Yes. Yes. With heavy loads? If you've got a heavy load, yeah, your two blade's probably going to do better for you than that three blade. Um, Travis already told him yes. <laughs> Travis is fast. I know, he's a lot faster. These, I know, we're really slow today. Um, can you run a cam and a tuner without heads on a 37 EFI, or do you have to do heads with it? Don't have a clue. Um, that's a good question that for is Travis. From, yeah, Ke that's for Keith uh, Snow. Um, Micah so, would be another good, another good resource. Okay, it's there. I'm, I'm still showing. What happened? It just went to my home screen all of a sudden. Uh oh. But it's still there. Okay, everybody's still good. Um, I do have uh, something to give to Keith Snow, because your name is Keith. I would, what do you want to give? You no, know, I don't know. All right, how about this? Oh, there you go. No, yeah, Keith Snow. I have a ducks waterfowl hat and a ducks. Uh, it's a face mask. It's a, a, face a buff mask. is a what buff. it is. It's one of those uh, those little buffs. Um, that is for you, um, <laughs> Keith Snow. Um, <laughs> is it still on? Are we having no. trouble? Do we? Is it off? We're done. Is it off? Still says it's going. Like, I still see that it's going. I think we're still on. I'm going to pretend like we're still going. Um, so click the link above and uh, fill out your info. We're going to get that off to you as soon as we can. Like and share. Like and share, everybody. I'm going like, to be like Jeremy Cole. Like and share, everybody. <laughs> like and, like share. and share. I like that Jeremy kid. He's, 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 he's good. good. He's, and he's, I, he's I, you know what? I like old school. Old guys know a lot of stuff. But when it comes to fishing, I'm going with the young kid. So you, you oh, yeah. that kid. So I, I in their vote, poll yesterday, you voted for poll? Jeremy? Oh, I hit wow. Jeremy more times. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. All right, because I didn't. I was, I'm, I'm Team J. Paul all the way. Mm -hmm. I guess that's where we're different. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do y'all suggest for my 45 mag? Y'all have dual carb kit or single? That's for from Hunter Bundrick. Hunter, I would run a single carb. They're yeah. just easier to run. I'm not even sure. You can check with Travis of BPS. They may have twin carb kits around. I'm a single carb guy. Just easier to tune one than to tune two. And they'll put out enough fuel to make that motor just scream. So yes. I personally myself, I wouldn't put a two a two carbureted kit on my motor. I just wouldn't do it. You just wouldn't nope. do it. All right. Nope. Good. I tuned enough of them to know that I don't want to do it on my own personal one. Perfect. That's good advice right there. Uh, from Andrew Curtis, what do you recommend on breaking period on a Mud Buddy five thousand? Um, new boat is coming in this week. New boat. Oh, oh, oh that's anyway, gonna there be you awesome. go. That'll be nice. So fun. Um, though you'll get a manual, and inside there's a nice breaking um, period. You want to keep it half throttle and below for the first couple hours. Yeah. Then you can run up to. You want to vary the speed from three quarter to no throttle for a couple more hours, and then once you get about five six hours on, then just vary the speed up and down. You know, and then first oil change, I would say about 15 hours. Uh -huh. First valve adjustment, about 20. Yeah. And you're ready to go. That five-hour break-in time. It's horrible, isn't it? Was it was a lot it longer than I thought it was going to be, man. That took us for... Oh. I still think we only have 10 hours on that boat. Oh, for, I'm pretty sure. You know, it's kind of... It's kind of... I think took we forever. put gas in at one time. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, awesome. 11 gallons all on that, the gas. All that means is we need to go out more. That's really what that means, kid. So let's try and get our medications all wrapped yeah, up, shall we, Keith? Get, our, right. get our, <laughs> our stuff together. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, Nick Nay is on. Hey, hey, Nick. Good to see you again. Um, what props would you recommend for mud flats, weeds, and deep water? Um... I mean, three blade would be a good prop. Two I blade. do. I was gonna say I think the three the three blade might be really nice for that kind of stuff. Though I that's uh, that's when you really want your uh, long tail, right there. Depending on what kind that, of vegetation, that deep mud and that's that super have, uh, thick. We have a weeds. we have a spot that we're gonna go do some testing when we can. Probably be later in the year before yeah. the season opens up before we can get back into it. But. Uh, you know, I'm interested to see what this and deep water. I'm thinking the really deep, a three blade really the, made the deep me... water definitely a three blade. Yeah, it'll it'll push you along and do that. Now who was that? That was Nick Nay. 
Nick? Neck? Nay. G N E K. Neck, nay. How Nick. about how about we go with the uh, tangle free? Tangle free gunsling. gunsling. Very nice. That's for you, Nick. Um, click the link at the t- in the description, and we're gonna get that sent out to you. It's good to see you, buddy. I feel like it's been a little yeah. while. They're nice slings. I have one. Do you? I have, I have, I have purchased a lot of things for your product in, <laughs> in the last spare year. Time from yes. the hospital bed? From the hospital bed, from my office. Um, so, yes. So, yeah. Enjoy that. It's a nice sling. Who was it, Jim? That was Nick Nay. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, yeah. everybody does it when I say your name. And I'm, maybe I'm not even saying it right. But everybody looks at me the same yeah, way. I heard the look on her face. was like, what? G N E K. G N A Y, I believe, something like that. Um, that was a G N A Y, yeah. Gunsling. Uh, James Grover, what's the weight of a 16 foot XL boat with a 20 horsepower surface drive? James, I do not I know. No idea. Um, I'm I'm not sure on that. I will have to look into that. It's uh, that 16 16 foot. I'm guessing it's an X uh, uh, an F4 16 footer. I don't know. I'm gonna check into that though, um, James. Let me look. Let me look, and I'll get back to you on that. Um, I totally forgot. Oh, Randy Webb, who bent his last flat brim, wants another one so nope. he can be a part of nope. Team Flat Brim. No, nope. it's gonna take a while before you get one, Randy. We just can't let anybody have those. You rolled it, man. <laughs> Sean, Bul- Sean Bulva. Hashtag definitely not. Definitely team not. That's what he said. Hashtag definitely team not. That's going to have to be a thing now. Hashtag team definitely. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm just saying. Something in there. Um, uh, From Darren Peel, I run a 5500 Black Death, and I find the three-blade reduces vibration with no noticeable reduction in performance. Yes, and they will. They're a lot smoother propeller. So you will get... uh, uh, easier handling and easier ride with a three blade just because it's better balanced. Right. So it, it has it has some good benefits. We just need to go out and see what those benefits are. We really do. Uh, okay. Uh, Hunter Bundrick, ask Keith what he thinks would be a good carb kit for Hunter Bundrick's 45 Mac. <laughs> do you know Hunter? Do you know yes, I know who Hunter <laughs> okay. is now. <laughs> Hunter, I'm working on something for you, bud. Uh-oh. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, I like it. <coughs> I, got, I got a little something coming up. Oh. <laughs> Jordan Baldridge, uh, my old Dodge, gets seven. And it's the everyday driver, seven miles to seven the gallon. Seven miles to the gallon. <laughs> Yikes. Now see, Mama's minivan that I'm having to drive now, she's good for 22, but it's still not the 44 I was used to. You mean the van that we always pull the salty yes, with? the salty. Fantastic. The salty assassins, new... Driver vehicle, as long as it's not on the WMA muddy sloppy fields. It does good on the freeway and down the on the blacktop, but just not so good down the, uh, yeah. the muddy gooey roads. I still haven't cleaned that thing out yet. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, two blade of had weeds, three blade for the deep water. That was from Travis. Yes, very good. No idea. Somehow boat chambery. <laughs> There's Randy. Randy's cracking me up with this. Uh, we answered that one. Yes, J. Paul. We yes, J. Paul just sent me a text about the uh, the goose piss. Yes, we we talked about that earlier with the. We're sending you a bottle. It'll yeah. help you. It'll, it'll help you. Okay, Try it on your fishing bait too. When Jeremy smack lays a smack down my, on you. My most favorite person is watching. Who's that? Your wife. Oh, Nancy. Yeah, she's, Nancy's on. She's home because yes, it's, spring it's spring break. break. Yes. It's spring break here, and uh, so Nancy is watching. Um, so I, I appreciate. I, I appreciate. I think it. she's checking to see if I'm still alive. I think she 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 texts me every couple hours, like, "How are you doing?" That's so I'm, I'm hanging in there, running on three cylinders, but uh, it's very directly on your it's, it's a V8. Oh my gosh, running. these guys are nailing you with this. Said, I guess talking about the, the goose piss, since you can't run a duck call, it would benefit you to spray it directly on your hunting jacket. <laughs> <laughs> from Travis. Hey, Travis? Every you? edge. Yes, that's from Travis. Every edge you could get. Every, Every edge. Every edge. Seriously. Um, I'm Tony Smith, what's up, guys? Thanks for making bald cool. <laughs> As soon as it warms up a You are bit, welcome, because yes. we work hard at this. This is planned. This isn't by accident. 
Just kidding, it's totally my accent. <laughs> but uh, no, that's why uh, Nancy jumped in and she said, Bald is sexy. She, and I'm pretty sure she was talking about me. Uh, probably. I always keep a little bit of fuzz on mine because I like it to be a little bit warm. Dirt, when the summer comes, you'll, we'll, uh, you'll, we'll go, you'll we'll, take it all the we'll way We'll pick it down. Okay, let's see. That just shows quality durability. Okay, yes, I love it when my prop hits a big old carp and it rolls belly up. That's from <laughs> Rob Rasmussen. Hey, Rob, <laughs> we're going to throw two at you. Rob Rasmussen, we're going to throw a Sitka mud buddy hat at you. With the Echo Boys Mallard, Mallard Madness, Madness 12. Number 12. Oh, yeah. And I'm sh- pretty sure Freddie and the boys are working on 13 right now. They, getting all that, they uh, sure are. Getting all that footage cut and prepped into another uh, yeah, I'm DVD. Yep. I, hope, they, I hope there's some ducks in it this year. Oh, man. Holy cow. I know he was working really hard to find them this year. I think, I think everybody was. It didn't matter what part of the country you were in. It no, was it slim was, pickings. It was slim pickings this year. There's no doubt about it. Josh Vinson, love that he wants a three blade. Are you on that? Ben Hodman could use the, the blade, lol. Matt Cow, pick up my boat in two weeks after this build and have never ran a three before. Interesting. We'll have to try that. We're going to try and get you the best information that we can on that one. Uh, Nicholas Emerson is on. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Uh, let's see. I did not like this. Oh, Ben Hodman said he didn't love the three blade on the river. Hmm, interesting. We'll be the judge of this. Yes. Ben. Well, and, and it may be just, you know, some conditions with with the boat and the weight. A- absolutely. Um, Not every prop is perfect for every situation. No. And there, there is some gearing that we can adjust. Right. We just need to know that. And for those of you who are out there who might be new, and even some of you older guys, down below your oil filters, there's a drain plug. There's a number to the left and a number to the right. That gives us your gearing of your motor. The left number is the upper clutch. The right number is the lower sprocket. So if you ever have any questions on maybe trying to get a little more RPM or you want to run the three blade and it's not hitting the RPM, you get us those numbers and we can help you out. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Nick to ask about your, uh, where's Keith's flat, flat brim? Where you didn't wear it, you didn't put it on today. No, it's at home. But my, my, I, I do have mine, Nick, I do have mine here with me. I was actually just using it to show what we were giving away, so I didn't wear it today. But we do have it, and Nick, we've been arguing about it all day. I have it at home, and I wear it, and I have a couple of uh, of our sponsors ones, Tangle Free. I picked up a couple of their $5 hats because they're running a great promotion. They're all flat brim. I got picked up a really nice gray and black one. Um, Myos Christensen with a 1954 F4 with a 4,000 e, uh, to 40 EFI. When that comes, with the Raptor or would it be better with a hammer? That big of a boat with that motor, I would say a two blade. Yeah. Because he's got a heavy boat with a 40. Did he? What did you say? A 19? It's, a, it's a 1954. It's an F4. It's the big, the big long F4. Yeah, I'm thinking two blade. Yeah. Because just a little bit heavier boat, you know, depending on what kind of loads he's pushing. Yeah, well, um, miles. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you're going to be loaded down at all, yes. But if, I mean, if that's going to be more of a fishing rig for you, yeah, if it's a fishing rig, you're probably and you're going to look at some deep waters, you probably f- be fine with that Raptor. But yeah, if you're if you're pushing heavy loads, definitely going to be the big blade. Yeah. Um, let's see how you do, my buddies. On one leg, that would be a great picture. That that's from Michelle. I know, you know, Michelle. We had talked about that one time, but we mm-hmm. having all all the motors and all the boats all in one spot at one time. You know what? For a photo shoot, we've got a big load of boats coming in. First part of this week. It's believe. Well, the, here's the here's the trick with that because I wanted this. This is absolutely right. something I wanted because it makes taking pictures even everything looks the same. It's all really great, but we generally we. We build the, they put motors together. They come in on an order and ship them out a right. few days later. I yes. rarely get a chance to get a hold of them, so that's that's one of the reasons I just, I just they can't maybe, stay maybe in one place. Work, maybe we can work something out this week with the because I, I know they've got a, awesome. they've got a load of boats coming from Excel Plant here, and there's quite a few engines sitting on stands ready to be mounted to those uh, to the boats and the trailers and off to their new homes and yes. destinations. So. Um, they are reporting when we had that little hiccup that it did go it did go dead for about twenty seconds or so. Oh, we went dead. Yeah. Sometimes so I feel like more than yes. twenty seconds. Whew. Oh. Oh no! I just make sure. I have... 
Okay, so this is from uh, Luke Blanco. Uh, just wanted to say, went with my buddy to Eminem Marine in Savannah, Illinois to have his mud buddy worked on. Probably the best customer service I have seen from a boat dealer. Great family run business and their mechanics know their stuff. Highly recommend them for the future. Sometimes it pays customer service to drive two hours on the way. I agree. Jeff and the boys at M&M, at M&M. Marine are amazing. Ooh, they really are. Their two, their two mechanics came out and spent a couple of days and yeah. did some training with Enrique and that. And, uh, you know, I've been dealing with Jeff and M&M since I've been in customer service. Great group of guys. I highly recommend them, anybody that's in their area. They just, like you said, good family-run business. And yeah. it, is, it is family. It's not just, they're not just saying it. The boys... They all yeah. work there. It's oh, yeah. you know, it's it's a family run business. No, got a little awesome. bit of water right now, but it's family business. Yeah, got people. a little yeah. Got a, got a little water <laughs> running in the front door. Yeah, got a truce. Got to wear your mud boots to work. But Luke, I really do appreciate you saying that. So Luke, I'm gonna send you. I've got the uh, mud buddy. Here, it's the you. yeah. Would you? Yes. That's the long sleeve white shirt that I've got there. So uh, click the link up at the top of the description. We're going to get that off to you. I appreciate you, uh, the shout out to Eminem, because we really appreciate those guys as well. Yes, and I'm sure they would love to hear that. Oh, and Jay Paul said that as well. He said, yeah, those guys are so great. And said, thanks for the shout out. so funny. We really, I mean, we do love the guys at Eminem. We're they, always just really excited for they them. They are a good, good group of boys. Um, speaking of... People, yes. <laughs> Jay Paul in particular. They actually, for those of you who remember, I don't think he's on, but um, last year we gave we gave that boat away, that boat and motor package away, a real one, right. not a fake one, not a fake one. Um, and it, it was won by a gentleman named Brian Blount, who I'm not sure if he's watching now. He does he does often. He, Ryan's so awesome, but they actually picked up their boat this last weekend, last uh, on Friday. Oh, cool. They went. Uh, they drove down. He and the family drove to the plant in Arkansas. <laughs> To pick it up, and uh, we had a little camera crew there, and DJ took them on a tour and stuff. It was it was really awesome. I'm really excited. So uh, everybody, once more, congratulations to Ryan and his awesome family. Yeah. They're, well, they're and, so great. We're happy for and them. Too, for any of you who come out to Utah and you want to run around and see what Mud Buddy's all about, come on in and see us. We'll take you around. We'll introduce you to the boys. I'll show you how we do it from start to finish. Um, and you can you even know. meet the famous Keith and Jeffrey. <laughs> Now hopefully we're running on all eight cylinders by then. Holy Keith cow. might still be in the bathroom, but oh, my gosh! But yeah, uh, come on down. You know, yeah. we're always willing to uh, absolutely have somebody stop on by and, and check it out. So, but hey, we want to thank our sponsors: Excel Boats, BPS, Lucky Duck, Tangle Free, Camp Chef, Ducks, Deep Apparel, and Echo Calls. Because these guys have been great sponsors for us. I know we're oh, getting yeah. into the fishing part. But there are there are main waterfowler guys, yes. and they, they have taken are, care of us no, in they a have. big way. I mean, oh man, they some of them have stepped up in amazing ways with with apparel and calls and those kind of things, and we we really appreciate it, you know. Yeah. And we want to support them and we really throw do. their names out. So go out and check out their stuff. Yes, see check what they got going on. And check there's a lot of stuff. great sales. I know you're not into all that sale hunting right now, but right now if you're looking for <laughs> duck hunting stuff. Right now is the time to be doing it because yes. everybody's running sales. I only like to buy things at full price. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a great question here from Dustin Everett. Um, he's running a 1642 um, on some deep water with lots of vegetation. Uh, places I run require 25 horsepower max. What motor would fit the bill for me? You have, uh, you can either go with the long tail, which we have a 23 and a 25. Yes. Or you can go with the mini, which is our mini surface drive, yeah. with the 23 or the 25 horse Kohler. Yes. Either one of those would work either good. Either one of those would work. Yes. If, you're, if you're in that thick vegetation a lot, I would maybe definitely look at that long tail. Um, but if you're going to be skimming across, needing a little more speed yeah, across some speed. of those deeper waters, yes. the mini is probably what's going to be. Either one of those two would work good for you because they're lightweight motors. They go on on boats, and he's obviously got some uh, horsepower restrictions. Yes, that uh, you know we don't have here in Utah because we got some of the guys out there with like 65 horsepower. Boy, when they go on by, it's loud. Yo, oh, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Chad Andrews, what's the best way to correct extreme tiller torque? Then the skeg question mark or move the motor over a little bit to offset it you can do either okay. whichever is easier take the motor slide it to the left no more than one inch or take a big crescent wrench a little bit of heat and give the skeg a little bit of a bend Ooh. just keep the bend going the same way yeah. and that'll help don't go too much because it doesn't take a lot and then you don't <laughs> 
and then you don't have to try to bend it back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> getting I, what? What is getting, getting, getting the look at the camera? Yes, yeah, so literally. Like, yeah. I, I keep trying. I'm not doing very good today. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, GD Gobert, where can I find um, a Mud Buddy hat? Um, you're going to actually go to www.xlboats.com and then go to their store. That's where all the Mud Buddy gear is sold. Yes. Uh, I could go into a long explanation as to why that is, but I'm not going to. But that's where you're going to find it. All right. Oh, and Jay Paul jumped in on that uh, tiller as well, that question. Um, how much foot-pounds torque SLD? I don't know what that SLT SLD torque solid. I'm not sure if that uh, you use when replacing the prop nut. I'm guessing not props nut. Oh, we use that. To, it's the dunk a dunk. Remember? It's like no. with the, on the oh, impact. It's, oh, the, it's impact. the dunk a dunk. We use the impact. You remember that one now, don't you? It was a dunk a dunk. It's two dunk a dunks <laughs> with a three quarter or oh, half inch um, impact gun. I can't remember who told us that. And we call it the Dunkin' Dunk. Yes. The Dunkin' Dunk. Dunkin Dunkin I can't remember. I can't who, remember yeah, remember who that. was it that said? Who, somebody, yeah. one of you out there was like, Dunkin' Dunk. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's hysterical. Dunkin' Dunk, yes. The dunk, so two Dunkin' Dunks with a half inch impact, and you're pretty good. I don't know what the torque what, setting what's is. The point? I'm going to. They also said, Uga Dugas. Uga Dugas. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to get back to you, though, Ben. Um, don't let me forget that. I we can get that information. I just don't have it with me right now. Uh, um, you done? You guys kind of <laughs> break down comparison between you and the competitors. Kind of like, well, make sure Mars the best. Mario, um, Luke. You know, I don't have a, like a video or anything like specifically like like that. He's talking about a comparison between competitors. Um, like in a specific format like that, though that is something we're we're working on. We're always kind of uh, putting Innovating. new stuff like that together. But I don't I don't have anything to point you to specifically. Um, um, but uh, keep an eye keep an eye out. And also, I mean, there's lots of videos and stuff that have been um, that are older that predate me. None predate Keith because he's older than dirt. But um, there is stuff on there that that we'll talk about that. Does the gray give it away? Is that what it is? Maybe I gotta use some of. Uh, I don't know. Somebody that died. Could be, your, could be your problems in the bathroom. I don't know. Could be a lot of problems. <laughs> my my list of problems is way too long right now. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. Let's see. Where was I? Um. When the peddlers run around, go to dive in the big lake. Seven guys, forty-two birds, and three. Guy day two. We win eighteen birds. Oh, that's from Rick. Rick, is that um, are you bragging? Is that what that is, Rick? You are you just like trying it. to make trying to make us feel bad? When the peddlers aren't around, go to divers on the big lake. You know, we already feel bad enough that I have to be stuck in front of this wall because of Keith can't <laughs> I can't get my stuff together today. J Paul Jackson, Mini Twenty Five is the bomb. And you all know who's been watching, I'm also a big fan yes. of that of that mini. I'm really a fan. I really like those motors. Well we have the video on that uh Mini yes, we do have. have we, the there is a video on the on those minis. Oh, oh yes. yeah, no, that's a, it's an awesome little video, and it's a great motor. My buddy Shane, oh, please, Randy, hush. Um, Colton Pennell, Keith, I received my parts the other day. Just want to say thank you for all your help. My buddy crew cares about their customers. Colton, thank, thank you, you so much. We, you know what we try, and then some days, and especially for me lately, with the, with the health issues and stuff, I've been a little bit lax. I'm trying to keep it. Trying to keep it together and, and working from home in here. So occasionally I leave something at home or I leave something at work. So <laughs> yes. just be patient. We'll get there. We got Ricky and Micah to help out. So yeah. we try to do our best. We, we really, absolutely really do. do. And you work really hard. And we appreciate that, Keith. You're, you are awesome. Um, Michelle Webb, not a motor question, but where's your favorite place to duck hunt? And do you ever travel state to state like here in Michigan? <sighs> Michelle. 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 Where to begin? With this, <laughs> just kidding. I've been to Arkansas. Let me once. drop you a pin of yeah. where Keith is. <laughs> I'll, I've been to Arkansas once. You have. Let I'm me not ready to go back yet. It is actually our goal. And we've talked about this a number of times um, on this show, but we it is our goal next year. We really do want to be traveling around a little more. So At least we're working on places. some of those uh, budgetary restrictions. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's um, all about the budget. But um, we do want to get out with the show a little more and uh, hit some of these other states. 
Um, we, we can do that. But you have traveled around a little bit. But you know, the person to really ask is Jay Paul, who is on, who is less tied to his office in a way that you and I are. Yes. Gets out and duck hunts um, other states quite a bit more frequently yes. than we do. So uh, he might be able to chime in on, on a question for that. But Michelle, if we get to Michigan, though, Michelle, your house is our first stop for, uh, I don't know, Dinner? I don't know. Dinner and, 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 and drop for a <laughs> yes. nice place to hunt. Yeah, well, you're going to have to show us where to go. You know? And we also, we know it's we, we know it's hunting, it's not killing, so we won't be upset, you know. I went to Arkansas, we didn't shoot very many birds, but man, I'll tell you what, great time, great hospitality, and met some amazing people down there. Yeah. So that made the whole trip worth it, even though we only shot five ducks. Absolutely. Uh, Sean Bova, I... I I don't know what to tell you, Sean, on this. He says, hey, fellas, why don't you offer your mud buddy swag in bigger sizes? Not everyone is built like Jeffrey. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure I'm not sure how to take this. I, I am a small guy. It is true. Yeah. But I feel like we generally do a pretty good job. We try, Sean. We try our darndest to make sure well, Sean, what that do you, we what have. Do you, what so, Sean, need? what what do you need? That's, yeah. what, that's what I want to hear. Sean, because send I, me an email. I um, feel like I can correct this problem. I feel like, Sean, <laughs> we've got gear for you my friend and if we don't now everybody's gonna be like and it may take a while if it's something we have to special order it may take a little bit but we can get it you know i have i have a next door neighbor who's a pretty good guy and uh i got him a 4xl mud buddy hoodie it took a while to get it for him but he's he's running around sporting it like a madman uh-huh. which remember those mud buddy hoodies are available they they really are and i, I love mine we are so Yes, those those are really awesome. I do really love them. Okay, so we've got some other... Um, Chad Andrews brings up a good point right here. He says, who has the fastest mud buddy? Now, this is a tough no. question because, uh, right, there are so many things that go into this. Yes. But it's something we've always wanted to do. Now, the question is, who who, who are we talking about? Because right now, Keith and I are running the same boat. We run the same boat. But, you know, Jay Paul is out there. He's got a boat and a mud buddy. Um, Freddie's out there running a, a rig. You know, I'm just I'm just saying. I've been in a pretty fast one. <laughs> I have. I'm not going to deny that, it. And I feel is like... Is it the fastest one out there? I don't know. I don't know. But maybe it's time we start looking at figuring this question But is it, is it fast? It was amazingly fast. I, uh, I also feel like ours is pretty fast. It's fast, but it's not his not, fast. Not that no, kind of fast. Not even, well, not even what close. I'm going to say is that, you know, we're in the summer season now. We're not quite so tied down to, like, duck season and, you know, doing other things. Maybe now is the time we really get into this. We so. need some more motor work done. We need to get that thing over the mic up. <laughs> I am right. Get Cam and some other stuff in it. Um, J. Paul Jackson said, Gray is the new blonde. <laughs> and your wife said, and Gray is sexy, too. So, good for you, I guess, you and your gray. Um, oh, wow, really? Wow, really? <laughs> wow! Sorry about that, everybody. We have gone way over time. I absolutely apologize. Um, yeah, I'm going to come to Michigan for a hunt. Oh, Rick says, come to Michigan. Uh, Rick Hillicott, come to Michigan for a hunt anytime. Could take you out uh, with us at Muskegon Outfitters. Long tails, redheads, blue... Oh, we got to do that. I think Michigan might have to be our first stop. Even if I have to kick in a little bit to help go, maybe I that's what we have to oh, do. Man. All right. Uh, I'm going to officially write that down, that that needs to be our first stop on our great shallow water adventure tour. That's a long drive, or maybe we can fly. I don't know. How are we going to get the salty out there? They got a boat. No, they got a boat probably, but... I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll drag us along. Okay, and Michelle lives 10 minutes from Point... Mueli, Mueli, I don't know how to say that, Michelle. Uh, that's where they hunt. Um, oh, she's replying to Jay Paul because Jay Paul's been tired about Michigan. Got it. I see. Uh, Jay Paul said Michigan is better at fighting about Michigan. Everybody at Keith and Amber for another great episode. Come hunt Mallards in the Mighty Platte River. We're going to. I'm going to cut us off right here. We've been going for over an hour. I really apologize for everybody. It's been an hour. It has been an hour. So wow. you want to um, end it today? Woo, that was awesome. Thank you everybody for like indulging us for not being out and just sitting in front of the the painted wall. The painted wall. So sorry about that. Next week we are going to be out on the lake. We're going to get. Um, a little fishing gun, and we're going to do some testing on these props so that we can have first-hand experience and, and you know the best answers for everybody. <laughs>
Uh, so join us next week, same bat time, same bat channel. That doesn't really apply. No, no, but it sounds right. We'll be somewhere. We are going to be somewhere at 3 o'clock next Wednesday, right here in the shallow water. Take care, everybody. Have a great week.